Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about Velcro, which is also known as a hook and loop fastener. I would like to show you what Velcro I use for my quiet books, how I cut and sew it on. A few words about what Velcro is used for in quiet books. I cannot imagine a good quiet book without hook and loop fastener. It is used to stick detachable details to the activity page, like for example here. My detachable detail, my air balloon, has a velcro hook piece on its backside, and a loop one is stitched onto the page. And this is my recommendation for you to sew the hook velcro on the detachable detail and the loop one onto the book page. Here is the velcro I use. It is a sew-on velcro and I buy it in rolls of two different width sizes. Two centimeters and this one is five centimeters wide. This width is good for small detachable details like here. As you can see, in most cases I use velcro tape of 2 cm wide. This one, which is 5 cm wide, is good for book closure or for puzzles, I would say for details of a big size. Well, here is how I cut my velcro. I cut it any smaller size I want. In most cases it is 2 by 2 cm. I am using my rotary cutter here and I am measuring the length of my velcro piece using the scale on my cutting mat. When the pieces are all cut, I round the velcro piece corners like so. To get a more neat result, use small scissors to cut off one row of hooks along the edge. It will prevent thread looping and bunching while sewing it on. Let's go to my sewing machine. I am gonna use a zigzag stitch to sew around the edge. And here are my zigzag settings. Stitch width is 2.5 and stitch length is 0.4. And I'm gonna use a universal needle number 80 slash 12. I'm placing my project under the presser foot and starting sewing. I'm sewing slowly, fast speed might cause thread looping or even breaking. Avoid tapes with adhesive on the back, as these can gum up your sewing needle and break your thread. Also avoid very stiff velcro tapes, as these are both difficult to sew and might be too stiff for little kids' fingers. Okay, that's it. All looks nice and neat. All I need to do now is to secure the thread tails. I'm threading my needle and pushing my needle through to the wrong side, pulling the threads gently, tying a knot and 
aren't snipping their tails. All done. Everything looks nice and clean. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment and share this video if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.